Still life paintings may not be very exciting or dynamic, but they often highlight the technical skills of the painter and are full of items with symbolic meanings. For example, this still life from 1913 by Juan Gris contains a guitar. In a 17th century still life, a musical instrument often warned against the temporary pleasures of music, reminding people of the transience of their life. But in the early 20th century, a musical instrument would be a reference to the fast pace and noisiness of modern life. And while the works of Gris are quite abstract, you can still recognize the curvy shapes of the guitar, which were also a reference to the sensuality of the human body. In this video, we will look at some other symbolic elements in still life paintings like insects, precious metals and game. I'll try to ignore the symbols of Vanitas paintings, which were made to remind the viewer of the transience of our life, as those symbols were discussed in detail in last week's video. And in the last couple of months, I've also made videos about the symbolism of fruit and flowers, which very frequently appear in still lives as well. The presence of insects in still life paintings may be a reference to greediness and decay, very much in line with the Vanitas still life paintings of last week's video. A fly is a great example of an insect associated with waste, decay and death. But other insects may also have different specific meanings. An obvious one is the butterfly, which is a direct reference to the resurrection of Jesus and the religious transformation that people can undergo in life. Bees have a specific association with fertility, especially when shown in combination with flowers. But bees are also associated with the fragility of life. Beetles are sometimes associated with perseverance in life. A snail also has a very specific meaning. Back in the day, people had no idea how snails reproduced, and so they were strongly associated with the Immaculate Conception and the virginity of Mary. Finally, common insects like a fly or a wasp were also a fun way for the artist to trick the viewer trying to make them believe that a living insect is sitting on top of the canvas. Before showing some images of game in still life paintings, if this is something that may disturb you, I suggest moving on to the next chapter of this video. Have a look at this painting from 1602 by the Spanish artist Juan Sanchez Cotan. It shows the inside of a cupboard and the artist shows the harmoniously organized food items as well as several dead birds, including a goldfinch, a sparrow and two red partridges hanging from the top and some other birds on the left. And while nowadays more people may find this disturbing, in the 17th century hunting was much more common than today, so people were not really shocked by any of this. Artists had a few different reasons to include these dead animals. Sometimes it was a way to showcase the culinary specialties of a region or even the personal food and hunting preferences of the commissioner. And of course, these still lives were sometimes also just purely a way for the owner to show off some of his hunting trophies. However, there may be some deeper ideas symbolized as well, like the relationship between humans and nature. Or to provide the contrast between the beautiful and macabre things that nature offers us. In a Vanitas painting, the presence of silver and gold or other expensive items symbolize the futility of power, luxury and wealth. But these items were also a way to show off about someone's wealth, or a country's wealth and trade relationships. For example, this still life from the 1720s by Alexandre Desportes is filled with opulence. It shows a symmetrically organized buffet, showing off the wealth and global reach of the owner, including some expensive trays and ewers, vases and bowls. Something the wealthy commissioner who owned all these items could certainly appreciate. One more specific item that you can see in a still life is a mirror, 
which would be a symbol for self-reflection. And while a mirror is not a precious metal, silver items or orbs sometimes also reflect part of their environment. And self-reflection is thus also one of the symbolic meanings of these reflective metals. Before wrapping up this series on symbolism in still life paintings, let me mention the presence of fish and seashells in still life paintings. Last week I mentioned that an empty shell could refer to the loss of a life, a typical vanitas symbol. However, there are several other associations related to seafood. Seashells can symbolize birth and fertility. And fish in general, just as bread, are associated with Jesus who one day handed out fish and bread to many of his followers. As you could see in the works shown throughout this video, there are many other items present in still life paintings and most of them are not randomly included. They usually have a specific meaning or they are included because the artist wanted to show off his painterly skills. But I think that this week's video and the one from last week should provide you with a solid basis on how to understand still life paintings. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing. I recently reached 10,000 subscribers and I'm thankful for all the comments and support you provide, making this journey very enjoyable. Thanks for watching.